Hey all of you, hope you guys are great. So in the last video, we talked about the document middleware. In this video, we're going to talk about the query middleware, okay? So this is where we are left in the last video. This is what we have covered in the last video, document middleware. And now we can start working with the query middleware. So we have to follow the same structure. We have to take our schema and we're going to call this pre-hook. And the reason why we are calling this pre-hook because whenever any will hit the request in get all NFTs, okay? So at that point of time, we have to run this schema okay on that time we have to filter out the information which we going to pass in this middleware okay and again we have to find call this find method because it's a find we are trying to find the document if in our database so it's a find one and here we have to follow the same structure we're going to take this normal function and in that we're going to have this next keyword so we can easily able to have the instant of this entire schema and we can do operations on that okay so i'm going to call this next so now let's talk about that why do we need this middleware so just imagine sometime what happened that you have certain information in your database which you don't want to display to a normal user to a regular user you have keep that for specific person a specific member okay so when someone some regular user make the request on the api so on that time we want to hide those data okay in case of nft we have top five nfts okay just imagine that we have in our database we have top five nfts and we have those nft only for specific members we don't want to display those nft to a regular user okay so we're going to create a function for that so when someone regular user will call that function that's going to hide them so we're going to build the functionality for that so when some regular person will make the request on the api they will not able to find that five nfts okay which we have key for the special user okay so that's the functionality we're going to build it right now okay so what we can do we can come here in the schema model and here we have to define one more property okay so i'll call it secret nft okay and the reason why i have called secret nft is because i want to hide it and i want to display it on the base of certain conditions okay so the type i'm going to define is the boolean okay if it's true if it's false then it's just display if it's true then it's hide it okay so that's the logic i want to build and here i'm going to define the default value so initially it would be default okay so that's what we have and now we're going to build the condition here so so that's what we have here and this is the secret nft and let's come here so right now if i make a request just make a request and here you can see we get all these seven nfts which we have in our database okay and this is the seven nft and each of these seven nft have this property called select secret nft to false okay and this just a mongoose says you are able to see this in our it's actually not save in our database i will show you okay so you can see this is the default value we have included it's false but if we come back to the database you can see if we reload right now we have this solvent document but you don't find that secret variable here okay because we haven't added that and created any nft including that okay so that's what we have simply copied this entire nft and let's create an nft with this okay so i will simply close and replace this one okay make sure to remove the id duration and slug okay so remove the slug as well and remove this comma and we have to change this to true okay so this ID nft is going to be true not false okay and let's come here and now we have to change the name okay so we'll type rayan that would be working fine now let's hit the request and here we got an error because it's a we have assigned an id okay not a big deal we have to remove this id from here and now we can try one more time hit a request and here you can see so right now you can see we have all this data all this data so this is secret nft turn it to true okay and that's the name of the nft that's true and right now if you make a request right now altogether we have eight nft in our database you can see this is eight we have and everything's looking fine okay so i want to hide this particular nft which i have created with the secret secret to true okay i just want to hide that nft for a particular user okay so we're going to work on that okay so this is the nft which i want to hide it's a true and we're going to utilize it let's come back here in the in the database and you can see if i reload the page and all the previous nft doesn't have this property but the one we have created it will have that so here this is the one we have created you can see secret nft to true so that's looking fine hope these things are making sense to all of you guys and now we're going to build a condition around this so what i will do i'm going to use this this keyword 
and again i'm telling you that this keywords refer to the current schema model okay in this we have able to access all the information we'll use this find method and in that we're going to take this secret okay that's the one we are targeting from the schema model and we'll say not true so when we do that and when someone try to hit a request they're not able to find this the those nft who's had secret to true okay so that would be working fine so save it and right now you can see right now we have this total eight nft but if you make a request we'll have less than eight okay make a request and right now you can see we have only six so the function is working fine right now we have six and all these are false but we have a condition in this let me turn it to false and let me comment out this and let me show you if i make a request right now i'll get all eight so the logic is working fine so let's come here and let me show you how this entire request made so when someone hit the route get all nft it's get triggered out this we all filtering all the data on the base of the query model and as soon as the data come here in come here you can see all this fine method and when the data is come here in the feature query it's get back into the schema model okay it's get back to the schema model and this fine query we have so it's run this the method we have defined okay if you bring it back and this will work fine okay if you hit request right now we have seven that looks fine okay but in this we have a problem let me show you what i mean by the problem so let me comment out this first and let me get the all nfts and you can see where is that nft we have here so this is the nft this is the true nft which is displaying and let me grab the id of this nft okay so when i will make a request single nft i'll get this data okay so let's come here and let's paste the id here and if i make a request right this moment you can see that i can get the id uh, that particular nft which is true but if i turn this one back and come back to the get alls and if i make a request so let's bring it up if i make a request right now you can see i have seven so our code is working fine but when i'm doing with the single nft if i make a request if i make a request i still get all the data this is not what we want okay so if someone make a, get an id and make a request of a secret nft they're still getting the data but this is not the behavior we want we want to hide it from here as well okay so that's the one we are going to fix it now and the simple solution is for this is we can simply copy this one and we can bring it down and we can call this method okay find one okay and this find one will work for everything whether it's updating the single nft which is a secret tool for deleting and for getting a single one okay so this find one will work for everything so delete post patch for all the method okay so if you do that if you save it it will work fine so to check all we can do is let's come back and let's hit a request and you can see right now we are getting this no okay so the logic we have built it's working fine and that's what we have but it's not always a good idea that we should write a similar code twice okay so we're going to do something better okay so here we go here so here we'll use the global approach okay so to use that all we can do is uh let's comment out this portion and replicate this one and here i'm going to use the global expression so let's comment on this and here we'll take the slash slash and we're going to provide this one so when you assign this symbol this global approach what it does it will apply on everything whether it's a uh, get all the data or a get a single data or delete or update it will apply for everything on find method okay so this will work fine save it and that looks pretty good now what we can do let's come here and make a request you can see we are still getting the result and if you make a request here as well still we are getting the result so that's working fine so this is how we can modify it to different code into a single code and it's working fine so this is how we can create secret nft based on the users or members okay so that's looking fine hope this makes sense to all of you guys it's not that complicated let me give this comment i'll call it pre and let's talk about the post so there are again two things available to us the other we cover about the pre hook and now let's talk about the post hooks same thing we have to do same structure we have to follow here and you have to call this post okay and that we're going to call this let's say global find method and you know that in post method we able to access the document and the next keyword and we can come here and we can simply do something good so we're going to call this next so 
we can continue with and here we're going to call this console.log and let me show you that what I have inside the doc okay so when the request made this this schema model will run and we'll able to see the data okay so to see let's come here let's uh, come here here we're going to take a so here I want to compare that how many time it took before accepting the request and executing the request okay so I say let's say this dot let's say um, start okay and I want to calculate the time so I have this date dot now which will give me the current time and okay and now here I'm going to do is similar okay I will take this console dot log and here I will take this let's say simple I'll take the query took time and I want to take the so we are subtracting with the old time to the current time simple and we can say times make sure to put inside this so this will give us the time that how long it took before expecting accepting the query and executing the query so that looks pretty good and now we can test it out so to see all we can do is simply that's what we have here now we are passing the query so come back here and try to come here and let's go to this post and now we have to create an NFT to see this okay so let's come here we have to change the name to let's say time and hit a request and here we got an error okay that's not what we wanted what's happening mm. so let's come here and here is the problem we have it's a let's see in the terminal here we have the problem okay so this is not PODT it's a post okay so we'll type POST post and save it and this will solve our problem okay so this silly things will happen all the time okay now you can hit a, hit a request and here you can see we have created an NFT with the secret to true so that's looking fine we have our data if we make a request you can't able to see the data in the output in get all nfts because it's a secret true and if we come back here here we'll find all the data about the nft which is a post hook and if i scroll up here actually let me get down and here we have you can see this is the time it took query took 500 550 millisecond okay it took 50 millisecond to execute this request so that's how you can use and you can build a logic on top of this okay i'm not showing you that you can do a lot of things taking this information okay so that's what we have now simply comment this out okay so that's the post hook so that's the only thing i want to cover about the query that how you can set the query on the data based on the membership level okay so if you're running a membership website where you want to hide certain information or maybe certain program certain data you can set this on the base of the membership okay so that's i hope i believe this makes sense to all of you you have understood that how you can build a query and hide information based on the different roles okay because this is what we're going to use when we work on the authentication section where we allow the user to log into the application then only they can easily able to have the data or if they have bought any packages any product then we want to display those product only in that scenario okay so that's the only thing i want to cover hope you guys have found this video valuable if you have a any confusion in doubt do leave in the comment section i'll try to explain that with that said let's move to the next video